Are you a good listener? Can follow instructions quickly and has a research skills? If yes, then you can be a good candidate to transcribe recorded audio and edit imperfect transcription. Stay tuned until the end of this video dahil ituturo ko sa inyo ang pagiging isang transcribers. Ano ang mga steps at saka tools na gagamitin ninyo upang pumasa kayo at maging one of them. where to find side hustle, home-based jobs, and ESL jobs. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated. Let's talk about 3Play Media. Now, last year, hindi po sila hiring, but now they have 3 hiring positions. Kaya, let's grab this opportunity. 3Play Media is rapidly growing provider of video, accessibility services, located in the North End neighborhood of Boston. They have three freelance positions, English transcriptionist or editor. Now, here are the requirements. Excellent written communication skills, excellent command of English grammar and punctuation, proficiency with internet research and reference resources, ability to manage projects, work independently, and closely follow instructions, must be 18 years of age. Now, meron po silang own internet software based application na gagamitin ninyo as their transcriber. So, hindi na po kayo mahihirapan sa pag-transcribe kasi meron po silang own software. Meron din silang other positions, Spanish transcriptionist. If you can understand Spanish, then pwede kayong mag-apply doon. At saka, English voice writer. As a transcriptionist dito sa 3Play Media, pwede kang pumili ng category na gusto mo. So, pwede kang pumili sa entertainment, corporate, or education content producers ba ang pipiliin ninyo na itatranscribe. So, the salary here is weekly per project or per minute audio file. So, depende po yan sa ibibigay sa inyo. So, for example, if yung audio file na ibibigay is 10 minutes, then the regular rate is 1.25 per minute. So times 10 minutes, then you will have 12.5 dollars sa isang audio file na ibinigay nila. So malaki na talaga siya as transcriptionist. Wala po silang interview dito. Ang gagawin mo lang is pass the assessment. Now, I will show you how to pass the assessment. What are the steps and what are the tools that you need in order for you to Pass. So now this is the website. So start new transcription application. So you need to start with the basics. Your first name, your last name, email address, country. And by the way, you can apply anywhere in the world, your province or your region. And after that, save and continue. So there will be a confirmation to be sent to your email. So merong code na isi-send sa email ninyo, i-check nyo yon at ilagay dito. And once meron ng code, click submit code. Third step is where your location. So you need to write your full information here, your full address, your city, and your zip code. And also your phone number. Move on to your skills and experience. So what's your typing speed? So, kung hindi nyo alam yung typing speed ninyo, i-click nyo lang yung typing test. And then, mariredirect kayo dito. So, magta-type kayo dito para malaman ninyo yung typing speed ninyo. So, sa akin, 60 words per minute. So, 60, yan po yung ilalagay natin dito sa form. And then, you have there, describe any past transcription experience that distinguishes you as a strong applicant. 
So, dito, I just made this one. I have a strong background in transcriptionist. Naglagay din ako ng, um, ano yung example, yung sa school ninyo, sa minutes. So, pwede kayong maglagay dyan. So, yun yung masasuggest ko na ilagay ninyo upang pumasa at makapag-continue. So, after that, which languages do you speak? So, English. Kasi English yung mode of communication dito. At yun din ang hinahanap nila. How did you hear about replay? So, just put Google search. So, once pag-input na kayo sa information dito, so, dito na kayo sa transcription test. So, basahin ninyong maigi yung questionnaires dito or instruction. So, you will be evaluated based on the quality of your transcription alongside with a variety of other factors. So, you have there, while editing a transcription, you can use control plus space to play and pause. So, ito yung first one. So, use the dollar sign instead of the word dollars. For example, three dollars. So, it should be dollar sign three. So, use the percentage symbol instead of the word percent. Okay? So, do not label any sound effects or background music. So, yun lang. Napaka-simple. And then, please follow U.S. English punctuation and grammar rules. So, pakinggan nyo lang yan. For instance, take a $100 deposit. Yun yung itatranscribe natin. Okay? So, yun ang ginagawa ko. Stop-stop ko every second para makapag-transcribe ako. Makapag-type. Tapos, as you can see, nag-underline yung accounts. Meron kasi akong app, yung Grammarly, para lahat ng i-encode ko, if it's incorrect or grammatically wrong, madidetect agad na it's not right. It's one tool na kailangan natin i-install upang malaman natin yung error sa tinatype natin. So, tapos ko na siyang pakinggan yung file. So, ito yung uh, lahat na transcribe ko. To be sure na tama yung grammar, yung punctuation. So, copy and then ito yung tool na gagamitin natin. So, gagamit po tayo ng paraphrasing tool or Killbot AI. So, it Ilagay nyo lang dyan sa grammar checker. Copy, then paste. And then, checking grammar, makikita nyo yan. Fix errors. So, here. So, makikita na natin lahat yung errors. So, meron ng tamang punctuation, meron ng tamang period, at saka tamang um, grammar. And after that, copy nyo lang yan. And then, balik kayo sa 3Play Media. And then, paste. Okay, so, tama na yung tinascribe natin. So, punta naman tayo sa file 2. Dito sa file 2, merong instructions. Please label the speaker before they begin. So, ilagay natin yung pangalan ng speaker. So, meron namang example dito. Jeremy Baron. Siya ang nagsalita. Colon. Because followed by a colon. And then, you should also research the speaker's name if needed to spell it accurately. Like, pakinggan mo siya, and if you're not sure, then research the name. So, I will show you. My name is Emmanuel Pratt. Okay, so, unang pakinig ko sa words na is Emmanuel Pratt. But, I'm not sure kaya ang ginawa ko, kasi hindi nga ako sure sa Emmanuel Pratt, kaya sinerge ko si Emmanuel Pratt. So, ito yung lumabas. So, meron tayong makikita, Emmanuel Pratt, not Pratt. So, Ilagay natin yan, Pratt. That make sure na it's capital. And then, dyan makikita natin na founder siya ng Sweetwater Foundation. Co-founder of Sweetwater Foundation. So, yun po ang ilalagay natin. So, let's listen again. My name is Emmanuel Pratt. I'm co-founder and executive director of Sweetwater Foundation. Our tagline is, There Grows the Neighborhood. Okay, so... The information about Emmanuel Pratt can be found sa Google search. So, yun. Mas madali siyang gawin kasi masi-search mo siya sa Google. So, next is, punta naman tayo sa file 3. So, sa file 3, ang dapat natin gawin is, please use quotation marks, not italics, for titles of books, art, or music, and research as needed. To ensure proper names are spelled correctly. So, quotation marks should be double and curly. So, like this, and commas and periods at the end of a quote should be inside the quotation marks, whether it's the end of the sentence or not. So, pakinggan natin yung file 3. The Garden of Earthly Delight. 
Okay. So, yung unang narinig ko is the God of earthly delight. But, as you can see, no results found for the God of earthly delight. So, ang lumabas is the garden of earthly delights. So, magkatunog lang. Pero, ang tama is the garden of earthly delights. So, pakinggan natin ulit. The garden of earthly delights, which sits in the collection of the Museo del Prado in Madrid. Okay, meron sinasabi na tungkol about Museo del Prado in Madrid. Kaya nga sinabi ni dapat meron kang research skills kasi makikita mo lahat ng sinasabi sa file, sa research din, sa mga words na sinasabi sa persons na nasa audio. So, you can find it uh, by researching it through Google. So, the Garden of Earthly Delights. And then, hinga ninyo at ulit-ulitin based sa Google search. And then, go back naman sa audio file. Dapat magkatugma siya. And after that, that's the time that, yes, submit test. Actually, sobrang dali lang as long as um, marunong kang mag-research at gumamit ng mga tools. So, here, thanks for submitting your initial application. So, they will review and they will contact you about the next steps in your application process. So, wala na po silang interview. So, ang next step dito is si introduce nila yung mga tools at saka yung mga kategory kung ano yung pipiliin ninyo na. So, sobrang lang siyang dali. Pag-aralan nyo lang gamitin yung mga tools kailangan talaga meron kayong listening skills. So, that's it mga hunter. Transcriptionist is also a great opportunity especially to all the beginners kasi matutunan naman siya kung paano siya gawin. At medyo madali lang gaya ng ipinakita ko sa inyo. To have other options, you can also check my other videos. Thank you for always watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated. Also, follow our Facebook page for more hiring updates, tips, at saka list of our winners. Happy hunting!